Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Chirag and I'm second year student at VIT Bello studying AI. And in this video, I'll be talking and telling you about VIT Bello and sharing my experiences as I've been one year on campus at VIT Bello and currently over a year since I'm at home due to the current pandemic. And I have divided this video into nine parts. So let's start. So talking about VIT, so VIT Vellore is a 372 acre, almost 400 acre campus uh, with basically you could call it as a small town or an island with a ton of facilities, uh, top notch facilities, top notch lab and it has four campuses, the main campus being at Vellore which is in Tamil Nadu, the other campuses are at Chennai, Amravati and Bhopal, Bhopal being the most recent campus and um, it is a very research oriented campus uh, with um, faculties at the PhD level and you have 24 hostels in VIT, 18 of which are boys, 6 of which are girls as well as there's a new hostel coming up for the boys um, also. There's a huge big library in VIT uh, with a ton of books, ton of research journals which you can um, uh, go through, have a look and also it is equipped, uh, it's an AC equipped uh, uh, library. There are uh, food courts and uh, two food courts basically and there are other food courts towards the end of the other side of VIT. Plus there's uh, Domino's which I think is a great uh, a place to have some pizza with your friends maybe during evening times. There's also a medical clinic on campus and it's called Chetinal and uh, it's a pretty good clinic, it doesn't uh, charge that much also and coming to hospitals that surrounding campus CMC which is one of the best private hospitals, medical hospitals in the country is in Valor again and also uh, traveling is very easy because station, the Cartbody station is like 10 minutes um, from the VIT Valor campus. Now the campus itself, uh, I've told you a lot, let's talk about hostel. So I've been on campus for a bit over a year and um, so I in my first year I was in a six bed hostel, six bedroom and um, for my second year I had chosen a two bed but due to the pandemic I've been staying at home. So my hostel picture maybe you can, I'll put it right on the screen. So this is what um, the hostel looked like when I first arrived on um, at VIT on my first day and uh, the rooms were spacious six bed but the only problem was it's a bunk bed to fit in all the people you had uh, your own uh, wardrobes and your own cupboards your own study table so that was pretty good and also there's a laundry unit uh, there's a laundry service available in vit too um, each hostel has its own laundry service which you have around 44 washes a year and which is pretty good because you'll be on campus for about 10 months and uh, um, every week you usually wash your clothes once so uh, I mean maximum you'll have 40 washes which you basically use of the 44 but yeah and you have a night canteen also at every hostel which is around 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. I don't remember the timing but yeah it's it's open till 1 1 30 a.m. at night and you also have a snack stall at every entrance of um, the hostel where you can buy like chips, noodles or any other basic necessities like soap, toothbrushes etc. And bathrooms are okay, okay it's like not the cleanest but yeah they, the management manages it very well, sanitation is pretty good, not a problem. And the hostel is also equipped with badminton courts, you have free badminton courts. Um, where you can just go play badminton with your friends and talking about the mess there are three types of messes um, veg, non-veg and um, special I opted for the special one because I thought it would be great because I can switch between veg or non-veg whenever I would like and um, there, there is an outdoor stadium in the ho boys hostel side and plus with a swimming pool and sports facility there's basically everything you have like table tennis, football, basketball um, uh, tennis so you have all the facilities that you would like talking about gym uh, there's one free gym in the boys hostel side and the remaining are paid which is around 
5,000 rupees per semester. The swimming pool is around 4,000 per semester. I actually um, um, paid for the swimming pool um, in my first sem because first sem was pretty chill I and mean, not too much work to do. And um, I mean, if you uh, see the VIT campus, it's basically divided into two halves um, to a railway track passing in between. And um, towards the left is the boys' hostel, and towards the right is the girls' hostel and other academic buildings. So you basically have a tunnel, underground tunnel, which you have to cross uh, to come to the other side of VIT. Next, uh, talking about counseling, which is the main part right now. And um, let me take you onto my laptop screen and show you about the counseling and dates and talk about the fees. So yeah, we are right here. And uh, as you can see that the phase one counseling is for ranks between one to 20K. Phase two between 20,000, one to 45,000. Phase three counselings from 45,000 to 70,000. Phase four from 70,000 to one lakh. And phase five counselling above one lakh. I mean, uh, no one usually applies for the phase five counselling. You have a counselling fee of 5,900 uh, uh, rupees which is basically uh, non-refundable as you can see right here and uh, yeah so the dates are given right here i'll be putting this link down in the description box below so that you guys can um, refer this link talking about the fee structure you have uh, group a and group b and the fees usually vary uh, as you can see the category one is around 1.76 while the category b in category one of group B is around 1.98 lakhs or uh, 20k difference. But once you see that category two, which is 2,35,000 and uh, in group A, but in group B it's around 3,7,000. That's a huge jump of 70k right here. And uh, the same thing right here, category three, 3.43 3 lakhs here and with a 4.05 in group B and so on, it keeps increasing. So this is one uh, uh, the given current fee structure of VIT. Also, I mean, if you lie in the top uh, thousand ranks, you usually get the scholarship of max hundred percent to the lowest being twenty five percent. And talking about hostels right now, so VIT, as I mentioned, already has twenty four hostels. But let's talk about the fees right here. So if you can. Um, see right here that uh, you have a single bed double bed three bed four bed and a six bed so right here the six bed usually is 63,548 with a 15,000 caution deposit and this will be refundable in your fourth year so that makes an overall of 78,548 for the first year but in the consecutive years you'll be paying 63,500 rupees but yeah, if the lesser bed um, rooms you take, the more the price, so 80,000, 87,000, 1.14. And the fees is increased a bit because I remember when I applied for the double bed uh, room for my second year, uh, it was 77,000 around that. So it's a 10K increase right here. So yeah, uh, this is the current cost. and. Uh, and this is applicable for ladies hostel but and yeah they have an apartment and a non-apartment type also so they have a 643 bed and uh, they don't have like a single or a double bed bed ac room as the boys have the mess all over the mess is, uh, vegetarian non-veg and special 51,500 for veg non-vegetarian is 58,000 and special 66 so I would opt you guys to take special because you have a choice between veg or non-veg and the food um, that they make on a daily basis is changing so it's not the same basic food like you have varieties of paneer or if you're a non-vegetarian there's chicken they give fish sometimes I mean so you have a choice between veg or non-veg and special three and also the best thing in special your breakfast is pretty good you have a lot of choices there you get milkshakes here so it's 66,300 which is a bit on the expensive side but I mean you are basically getting three meals like uh, morning breakfast lunch and then dinner and you have snacks in between and for 10 months 66,000 is actually worth it. Great. 
so now let's talk about uh, the academic point of view in uh, BIT. So the first semester is basically uh, has common subjects for each and every one, that is physics, chemistry, um, and mathematics. So that's your same subjects and every branch, um, whether it's CSE, C, Triple E, Civil, Mechanical, all of them have the same subject. And then in semester two, when you go to semester two, you have something called an FFCS, which I'll be making a video on uh, very soon. It's basically called Fully Flexible Credit System, which you are uh, allowed to choose your own faculty as well as your own uh, course or the own subject that you want to uh, basically take in the upcoming sense, satisfying a minimum credit requirement. And uh, so it's basically fully flexible, you can do anything. And um, at first sem, it's not that hard, but yeah, uh, also one point to note that the hostels that you get from your next year, which is your second year, are based on the GPA you obtain in your first sem. So when you obtain your CGPA, uh, say you get a CGPA of 8.5, you'll be put up into a rank list, say your rank at the end will be around 500. Then you'll be sitting for hostel counseling where they call out your rank and you basically select uh, uh, hostel for yourself. I mean, if I do have a picture, I'll put it right on the screen so that you can have a look um, how the counseling uh, ranks are displayed. And uh, moving on about the classrooms and labs. So labs are very well equipped, top-notch uh, instruments. And I mean, VIT being a private university spends a lot on uh, lab as well as infrastructure. So we have a lot of labs. One new lab which um, I recently found out about was the Electric Vehicle Autonomous Lab and it's pretty good. So you have lots of labs in BIT um, with highly equipped uh, instruments and um, you can just go have a look maybe in your free time. And uh, classrooms are fine, they are spacious though, it's not AC. Labs, most of the labs are AC, uh, not most, I mean few of the labs are AC and the remaining are non-AC but yeah, um, it's well equipped basically. Coming to the uh, clubs and chapters and events, so basically events you have, uh, VIT has two most signature events, one is Rivera, basically it's an annual uh, event of um, VIT where you have music, dance and there are singers invited, like the last um, Rivera which happened, uh, there was Shia Ghoshal, Yami Gautam and um, yeah. Zakir Khan and all these uh, top celebrities were invited to uh, put up a show at VIT. Uh, talking about the technical event, one of the largest technical event VIT conducts every year is called Gravitas and there are a lot of technical workshops by people from uh, different uh, parts of the country. So you have a well diversified uh, network in VIT and the best thing about uh, Rivera is that it's it has about 40k thousand plus uh, 40,000 students so you have a lot of students you have a lot of interaction with people around uh, the country and uh, talking about clubs and chapters there are various clubs and chapters which VIT has a ton of them being technical music drama literature coding whatever name it's there in VIT so you do you can just find out about that in the website which I might I'll link it down in the description box and uh, you have a good you'll have a good peer group building in BIT because um, being it being a college at the south it doesn't mean that there are only south indians or something there are people from the north as well and there are people outside the country too like people from qatar dubai so you it's a well um, diversified place you will have an interaction with like-minded people say you're a computer science and maybe you're interested in a specific domain say cyber security so there'll be a ton of like-minded people you have top hackathons that these clubs and chapters conduct which you can participate and basically win prizes improve your resume and basically the most important you develop your skills and resume by building projects because there's a lot of scope in VIT as it's completely research oriented. so coming to the end i'm going to conclude about my one year experience at VIT, it was pretty good. Like I had fun in my first sem and um, everything that happened in the in the one year at VIT, in the one year that I spent in VIT. Basically, well lit equipped campus, there's a lake which you basically can't go, but yeah, there's a lake you can just go visit. 
I mean, the time I spent with my friends at like the food courts, um, at Domino's, there's also like a nasi shop <laughs> that is at the towards the end of BIT where you can just go sit in the evening. There's a huge space right there, so you just sit, enjoy the breeze, have a shame, shake, or whatever. Then there are like a ton of food camps in and around BIT, also outside BIT. There's like Drunken Monkey, there is um, other small uh, um, restaurants or uh, dhabas, you can say. One most uh, amazing dhaba is Tarama, which mostly everyone visits because of the good food and pretty decent, valuable price of the food items there. There's a supermarket right outside one of the gate, so it's called All Mart. You can buy your basic necessities and maybe basic food items, whatever you like, like chips, biscuits, or toiletries, or any other things that you require boxes, blankets, bed sheets, anything. It's all available there. And um, one more important thing you'll have a good personality development because there you'll interact with more people, ton of people. And also, um, there, as you have like-minded people, it's better, I would suggest you to build a LinkedIn profile or a LinkedIn account, which I'll be making a video again very soon. And um, so that you can connect to people very easily by just uh, connecting them through LinkedIn. And you can do projects, multiple projects, connect with faculties. So if you like a project, if you like a research done by a particular faculty you can just go to this or her cabin if they are free or you can mail them talk to them so they'll just reply you and yeah overall it's a great university placements are also pretty good being the average increasing every consecutive year so overall vit i suggest is a good campus and uh, yeah i wouldn't suggest uh, i mean there are people who are in like i have friends in category four also so it's not that, I mean, if you can basically uh, finance your education properly and I would pretty much suggest you to join VIT. So yeah, um, that's it for this video guys and uh, I hope you like it. If there are any queries, you can just 